Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to the final epic journey through The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. One of the best RPGs of 2015, one of the best RPGs in a long time, a game that CD Projekt Red, the game developer, put a ridiculous amount of time and attention into, one of the most immersive universes with the most amount of story-based side content, most of which is really amazing, and uh, I loved it. It was one of my, definitely one of my Game of the Year picks last year, and certainly a lot of people thought it was the best game of 2015. So today we are starting the final... DLC for The Witcher 3. And boy, is this one a unique one and something very different than what I'm used to talking about. Wow, it really didn't stop playing this song when I went down, did it? Can I get it to stop? I guess not. What if I go into the PlayStation Store? There you go. I just didn't want to hear the song playing, the Overwatch theme song. Actually, you know what? Hold on. <laughs> I know what I'll do. Since I'll be playing The Witcher 3 for a bit. I'm almost positive that I have a theme for it. I'm almost positive. There it is. There you go. Now we don't have to hear the Overwatch music. We get the nice calming PS4 dashboard music. There we go. That's much better. Okay. So anyway, The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine, the final piece of story-based content. For The Witcher 3. Why is this DLC unique? Okay. Number one, because it's supposed to be 30 hours long if you do all of the content. Now, you don't have to do all of the content. But apparently, if you do, it's pretty ridiculous. It's just a ridiculous... It's like a second game. It's like you bought the sequel to... It's like Witcher 3.5. Okay. Number two, apparently, the graphics have been completely redesigned. I'm not kidding. Apparently, this is the truth. The whole, like, interface of the game has been redesigned. Gameplay elements have been redesigned. Basically, they redid everything for this DLC. They wanted to go all out and say, look, we really care about our, 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 our fan base, our, you know, the consumer who bought our game, and we want to give you the amazing experience to end The Witcher 3 because probably they're going to spend another five years making Witcher 4, right? They actually appreciate your hard-earned dollar. Can you believe it? And I know I'm kissing CD Projekt Red's butt, but in a lot of ways they deserve it. You know, I did have some criticisms for Witcher 3 last year, but at, least, at the very least, they give you a value for your fucking dollar like a lot of these game developers these days, right? So I'm very excited to see what we're about to delve into. I'm so excited. I'm not going to wait. Ladies and gentlemen, The Witcher 3. Geralt returns one final time. And then in The Witcher 4, they it jumps the shark and everyone has guns and they travel to the future. Yes. And uh, it becomes a watered-down... Uh, modern, ar modernized RPG with very little side content, only grinding, grinding style, uh, collection missions. And they charge $400 for the full version of the game. <laughs> Alright, I don't think CD Projekt Red would actually do that. Yeah, people in the stream chat are saying they're, they're not even making Witcher 4 right now. They're working on a new series called Cyberpunk, and there's a lot of speculation. The reason why they have a new game engine in this DLC is because they wanted to de design a new game engine for Cyberpunk. So they're actually, this is almost like a test of that new engine. Pretty cool. Alright, so let's get this going. I see you guys. Get this out of here. Here you go. So thank you for buying the Blood and Wine expansion. You can begin the Blood and Wine in three ways. Choose from the beginning option. The first quest of Blood and Wine expansion will automatically be added to your journal once you finish the A Poet Under Pressure quest. Let's see. And no, I'm not going from the beginning. Some people in the stream chat are like, Go from the beginning! Go from the beginning! No. And by the way... As soon as the DLC starts, I'm going to say this. I am going to close stream chat. People have said to me, Phil, please, can you just please focus on the game and not be distracted by stream chat? And that's what I'm going to do. You're absolutely right. When it's a narrative style game like this, I should just focus solely on the game and pretend like I'm playing it offline. And that's what I'm going to do. And by the way, keep in mind, I haven't played this since Hearts of Stone, so I'm probably not going to remember how to play it. <laughs> I'm going to be honest here. I'm going to suck terribly and not remember any of the buttons. It's going to be horrible for a few minutes. And then after, like, probably, like, 45 minutes, I'll remember what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, here you go. Boom. Welcome to the Blood and Wine expansion. Your currently track quest has been changed to the first quest of Blood and Wine. Yet we only recommend starting if your character is at least level 34. Have fun and good luck on the path. Yeah, this game had a giant patch. It was huge. You've unlocked the ability to start a new game plus... Yeah, the, uh... Wow, look at this view, by the way. Pretty sweet, huh? Pretty fucking sweet. We're right here at the end of the Hearts of Stone. This is where it ended. 
New quest, the soldier statuette. I'm assuming... Oh, that's probably not it. Collect them all. I'm getting all these side quests. Ah, collect them all failed. What the hell? Quest completed. What is going on? Quest fail? <laughs> okay. Apparently, look at this. Envoys and wine boys. That sounds like it might be part of blood and wine. I'm level 38, so I'm good. I don't have to worry about... Oh, what the hell? They changed everything. Look at this. What the... It's completely different. Inventory tabs? What the fuck? I don't have any armor repair kits. The sword looks good. The iris. The weapon charges with energy during combat. When the color changes to red, a strong attack will release an energy and an extra powerful strike at the cost of part of the attacker's vitality. I'm not using that shit. I don't want to waste my fucking health. Forget that, man. Uh... Maybe I should just... No, that's the steel sword. I need a new silver sword. I need to repair my silver sword. Oh, look, this one was from Hearts of Stone. Oh, this is cool. They actually flagged the quest so you know what they're from. Well, that's smart. Well, they did redo everything, man. Because these quests were so confusing previously. Now they actually tell you not only where are they, but if they're part of a DLC or not. That's a really good uh, improvement. That's a huge improvement, in my opinion. All right, you know what? Let's go here. Oh, no. I forgot you have to be at a signpost to fast travel. Where am I? Where the hell am I? Here I am. Oh, God. Where? I have to go to down... I have to run to down Warren. Yeah. Uh, what are the controls? X runs. Fuck. I don't remember anything about this game. X runs. Circle jumps. Oh, shit. How do I draw my sword? I don't remember how to play this game. How do you draw the sword? I just drank a potion by accident. What was that? I drank a healing potion. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I can't see anything. I can't. Oh my god. Oh god, did you see that lighting effect? What the fuck are these? A monster's nest? No, I don't want to be here. No. A monster's nest? Get the fuck out of here. Oh, God. No. No, I don't want to fight the fucking wyvern. Get out. I don't know how to play the game. I don't remember what I'm doing. Get away from me. You fucking asshole. Run. Geralt, run, you fucking idiot. I don't remember how to play. <laughs> I really have no rec uh, no re uh, no remembrance of how to use signs or the crossbow. <clears throat> how does this work? It shows you what he can craft from. What the hell's going on? I'm not doing this, dude. I'm not doing this. What is going on? <laughs> dude, that was a huge glitch. I was holding down and then a pop up appeared and it made the screen scroll all the way to the bottom. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Nice glitch. This stonecutter settlement. Oh, wow. Look at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. They now have a shrunken mini-map to allow you to look around and see where the quests are. That is excellent. Wow. Number one biggest improvement I've noticed so far, that little mini-map, man. Because remember, you'd be looking for quests. You'd be searching the whole fucking giant map. You can't find it. Wow, is that a, a, definitely a huge improvement. All right, stonecutter settlement. So I got to get back to the signpost. Some sketches drafted from descriptions given by those who claim they glimpsed the beast. Each quite different. To my mind, these witnesses lie. How many victims so far? Two. When Her Grace learnt of the second, she discharged us immediately to fetch you, promising grants of land and fortunes in gold, should you answer her summons. An ill wind blows, Geralt. Toussaint! Ha ha ha! To Toussaint! Sacred blue, have a croissant with cheese and wine. Ha ha ha. And the French jokes begin. 
All right, cool. To Tusa, the new area. I'm assuming this is a whole new area. Wonder what this freaking monster can be that we're hunting. Apparently, it's invisible at least some point, right? Or has a way to lure people away. None of the drawings look similar, so... One had tentacles, one looked like a fucking winged monster. They all look different. So no one really knows what the fuck it is. It is beautiful. Toussaint, the land of love and life. My kind of place. Exactly how I remembered it. Welcome to 30 more hours of content! Uh, you will Toussaint. find Beauclair has changed some these past years. Walk about when you have the chance. You will see for yourself. To me, place always seemed straight out of a fairy tale. Knights errant, elven palaces. You insinuate that we are somehow odd? <laughs> I shall prove you wrong. This, I pledge on the heron! What the hell? Whoa! It's a big boy! What the shit? <laughs> what an idiot! It's like the Kool-Aid man breaking through walls! Holy shit! Oh yeah! We gotta fight this fucker. What the fuck's on his head? A barrel? <laughs> what was that? It sounded like a. Did you hear that? Now, wait a minute. I'm gonna fight it, but how the fuck? What the? The Witcher's Gone Salt, I got a trophy. How the fuck do I use a potion? I gotta figure out how to use a potion. Here. Consumables. Oh my god. Watch out! Here we go. We gotta hold the direction. Holy fuck, he's huge. Oh, what should I use? Let me try some different things. First of all, Quen. Oh, no you don't. Back the fuck up. Let's see if I can use Axie on him. Oh, shit! That didn't work. Oh, God. He did not care. Oh, my God! Oh, shit! He's huge! Alright, let's try something else. Uh, magic trap, maybe? That fucking hurt. You son of a bitch. I can't fucking. Oh, there we go. Roll X. I can't fucking roll. I can't fucking roll. Wow, I have invisibility. Oh my god, big damage. How the fuck do I target this asshole? Oh! Oh shit! Whoa! Fucking pimp slap me! Only magic science doing anything. I'm on fire. Oh fuck shit! Here you go. That's working. It's damage over time. Oh good shit! Oh, another pimp slap. Oh, I need to heal. Oh my god! Whoa! Almost got him. Jesus! Woo! Pretty fun. Oh shit! It's a pimp slap! God damn, I'm about to use black fire. Oh, one more hit. I'm stuck! I'm stuck on a dead body. I burned his leg off. Now how do I teabag him? He has nice peacock feathers in his uh his helmet there. If this were uh Parmenid oversaw his upbringing. 
Guillaume is his kid. What? I didn't mean to. I pressed the button and I skipped the tutorial because I was holding X to try to walk, and the fucking game skipped the tutorial that popped up about mutations. That's nice. But anyway, what was I gonna say? Now I've lost my train of thought because a stupid pop up. Damn it, I don't remember. Jesus Christ, whatever this thing is, it slaughtered everyone. Look at this. What the fuck is it? Huh. Ooh, this sounds disgusting. What the hell? You. Saw you at the inn. It's the girl? It's the fucking girl. Why'd you kill these people? Clearly wasn't for their blood. What the hell is going on? Whoa! Ooh, okay! Blood soaked titties. Ooh, she's mutating! Oh shit! What the? Ah! She's a Bruxa! Oh, hold on. There she is. Got her. Back here, you naked bitch. Oh, she flew out of the sky! I don't know when I can hit her and when I can't. Jesus Christ! That was wild! Killed all these men to get to the body. What was she doing at the table, though? Greater blue mutagen. She had a hand or something, a really weird looking hand. Uh. Look out, asshole! What an idiot! We have to help him. Oh boy. Well, we know who she's really gonna be sleeping with. <laughs> of course. Snap it. I can't see anything, and now I'm gonna die. Ah. 
This sucks. Great. Great! I can't see anything. Look at this. Come on. The fate of the beast has been weighed by the gods. Soon the witcher shall triumph against all odds. Wow, look at this! Well, I'm dead. What the fuck? <laughs> it rolls endlessly. It could just keep rolling into you from for multiple hits. How is that fair? How the fuck is that fair? <laughs> so it's a multi-hit roll that can hit you more than once. And so your Quen is useless because it only absorbs the first hit. And you can only hit it when it gets stunned, but you can't control when it gets stunned. It just does it itself. Ugh. And the camera sucks. You can't target the enemy and the camera sucks. Just like the combat of the original game. It sucks. Why? Why the hell don't they freaking improve this this uh, gameplay engine? They still didn't improve it. It's the same bo bullshit gar garbage engine, only now they've upped the ante with these big bosses. Shut the fuck up! And now loading. <laughs> the Shelma lies defeated by Geralt of Rithia, master of the witchering trade. Thus we've decided you shall receive the deed to a vineyard, Corvo Bianco. And the sum of coins. They're gonna give me the vineyard. Consider this adequate. Title to the vineyard shall be given to you at once. Surely you'll need lodgings while you hunt. So we get the vineyard full the of bodies. Coin, Great. However, will be yours only once you have slain the beast. Geralt. He's a, he's a freaking poet and a rapper. Easy G. That's his rapper name. Easy G. Got a groan coming up with the ease. Then it's like a mouse with a head of hard cheese. It's Easy G, motherfucker. Oh, shit. It's the fucking monster. Holy shit. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. What the butch? There he is. He's invisible. Get him. He got fucking claw hands. Here he goes. It's fucking Edward Scissorhands. Get him, it's Johnny Depp! He's beating his, his wife again, get him! Oh, I shouldn't have said that, it's messed up. Get him, it's Johnny Depp! Capture him! It's Nosferatu! Get him, Geralt! Easy G, get him, G! <laughs> what is he? Some kind of a vampire, right? A 
vampire variation, the Beast of Beauclair. Let you kill again. So what the fuck's going on right now? Can anyone? Dark as fuck. It's so dark I can't see what I'm doing. and time dodges. I leveled up again, by the way. Holy shit. Oh, shit. You want to stay where you are. Regenerate. I know you're in trouble. I can help. Who the fuck is he? I'll help myself. No, he's my friend. What the hell? Ripped his fucking heart out, dude. Yes, Geralt, it's me. What the fuck? Regis? I, you alright? Regis? Well, all's in order. Wounds such as these heal on vampires in moments. But we've not seen one another in ages, my friend. At least in human terms, that is. How's this even possible? Last I saw you, we... I was a bubbling, shapeless smear, having been rather spectacularly melted into a column of a certain castle. In somewhat better shape now, as you can see. Hardly peak for, mind you, but were I human, folk would think me a demigod, I dare say. Huh. I'm I don't sorry. know who this is. What happened? So I'm gonna meet him at some, uh... Cemetery. Oh, what's going on here? What's this? Sir! Sir! A letter for you, sir! What letter? the hell? Who from? Can't rightly say, sir. I was just to deliver it. No place like home or turn and face the strange. Uh... This might be interesting. The professor's workshop. I think I might want to do this one. Let's see where it is on the world map. Oh, it's close. Let's do this one. All right, let's go turn and face the strange. A drunk. A drunk is just fucking <laughs> passed out in the fucking street. That's great. Oh, look at that. So the, not only did the rain stop, but now it's becoming morning. You can see. That's kind of cool. Upstairs. I can't see. It's so dark in here. Hey, asshole. Turn on a goddamn light. What's wrong with you? I can't fucking see. Oh, is there someone had sex in the graveyard? Lots of tracks. Not much I can glean from them, though. Gotta come back after dark. Ah, oh, you can't do it until you're here after dark. Got it. Yeah, okay. Well, we're not doing that quest now, then. Okay, back to what we were doing. Turn and face the strange. Check the location of it on the map Yennefer gave you. 
How do I see, how do I look at the map? Do I go through the world map? Well, I don't understand. What am I doing? Where's the map? How do I see the map that Yennefer gave me? How do I see the map that Yennefer gave me? Geniuses! Ugh. Oh. You know, CD Projekt Red. It's great of them to redo stuff, but this sucks. Look, where's this map? I don't think I can do this quest because I don't know where the fuck this map is that they want me to read. Because they changed everything in the game and expect you to just know magically what to do. If I could just fucking see the map, how do I see the map? I hated this shit in the fir in the original game and I hate it now. It's too clunky. If you it, just fucking put the waypoint on my goddamn map. Now I have to find a fucking map and read it in my inventory even though it's not there. It's not there. So what am I supposed to do? Look. Old map of Toussaint and letter from Yennefer. Okay, where is it? Is it here? this here it is what the fuck is that supposed to be is this it while conducting studies under the guidance of this card engravings no that's cat school oh my god what is all this uh clue from the horn of the unicorn De the deed the summons a trousers diagram oh my god this is unbearable this really is unbearable. They didn't improve it at all! It's just as clunky as it used to be. In fact, it's even worse now, because you learned how to do it in the original game. Now they, they changed everything, so it's super confusing. What the fuck? Look, here it is. Wow, I learned nothing, and you can't do anything to it. Look. This sucks. Ugh. I don't want to do that. Now I'm in another fucking menu. Oh my god. And there's nothing on the world map. Nope. No, I'm not missing it. It's just not on here. You're supposed to maybe be able to correspond to that fucking map to this map? Are they out of their minds? Is that what it is? They want me to correspond to two maps. So, there's supposed to be a major city, and then to the upper left, a minor thing, and then another, like, major-looking city to the left. I'm supposed to find this on the map. This is impossible. This isn't it. No, this is major stuff like that. I have no fucking idea. I'm sure it's a fucking quest. 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 I'm sure it's a fucking Fuck this. Site marked on the map's all wet now. Some tour flows through there. Must be where the valley of the Nile once lay. Need to explore the location. What? It just advanced. So let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. Seriously. I looked at the map. I was supposed to know. To not look at the map like it was telling me when I was in the map. What the fuck is this? What is going on? Oh my god. Stop giving me quests! I just... <sighs> okay, quest updated. Turn and face the strange. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anyway. Amazing. Riveting and amazing improvements to the game. Not really. So we have to get over here. I love it. You're supposed to know to read a map that has nothing in it in English. You have no idea what the fuck the map is. You don't even know if it's the one that Yennefer gave you. Then you're supposed to know, even though while you're reading the map, it says to read the map, to leave your menu so that the game will advance. Like, what? 
This is some of the problems I have with this game, man. It's just, it's like, if you programmed the game, you'd think that was great. Whoa. Everyone else like, what the fuck? Run, Roach. It could have been so much more simple. How about this? You read, you read Le Yennefer's letter. Okay, let me check the map. He just pulls the fucking map out himself and checks it and then updates the quest. No, let's waste 25 minutes on that shit. That was stupid. I don't know how to fight while I'm in the water, though. Oh, you know what? You have to have your bow, remember? Not that, your bow. You have to have your bow equipped, but I don't remember how to fucking do that. What the fuck is this? Uh, I can't move. What the hell is this? I'm stuck. I gotta get air, but I'm stuck here. How do I target these drowners so they'll fucking leave me alone? How do I get kill this asshole? There we go. R1. Ah! I found a gargoyle's paw. I put the paw there. Oh, look at this! Whoa! Whoa! This just keeps getting better. Multiple portals. Well, I guess we take them in a, in a different order here. Let's see. What's this? Hmm. Interesting. That's gotta be it right there. Which means I need to climb down. And then climb up. Right? I would think it would be this one. Birthday cake. About time. About time someone baked me a goddamn cake. All right then. That's what I'm talking about. Wait, what's this? I hear stuff up there. <laughs> what's going on? So I guess that wasn't the right portal. It was just the birthday cake. How the hell are you supposed to know what the right portal is? They all look the same. Let's try this one. Bro, I don't The one the statue is facing. So maybe we're the statue, not the tr not the freaking leopard or, or, or tiger, but we're okay. Yeah, whatever one the statue's facing down there. Let's take a look. Statues facing this way. The statue is facing right here. So this must be the correct portal. It's facing this direction. God damn it. Let me guess. It's not right. Even though it is facing it. Oh, never mind. That was correct. Yeah, let's do it. Let's mutate. Let's grow a third dick. That's right, because Carol has two. You didn't know that. Why do you think the ladies love him so much? What 
the hell's that noise? You unlock the mutation system. Mutations let you gain new capabilities, increasing your advantage over normal men and giving you an added edge in killing monsters. To learn more, open the character panel. Mutations. Press triangle to open the mutations panel. Whoa. To use mutations, first you must research them. To do this, choose one of the available mutations. So, we've got... For mutation research to finish successfully, you must devote a quiet number of ability points and mutagens to do it. Well, I didn't know that. I would have saved ability points. Choose one of the advanced mutations. But I need ability points. I need two ability points. I don't have any. Because I had three and I fucking wasted them on something I didn't know because I didn't know this existed. Because of course you were supposed to somehow know you would need ability points for something else. Oh my god, dies. I just want to see... Get this out of here. Get this out of here. Stop with the pop-ups. Good fuck. All right, let's get out of here. Let's finish this quest. So it's good that I got it, but I need ability points now to use it. And have to earn more. I'm sure if this DLC is as long as everyone says it is, I'll be earning many ability points, so I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> Just need a bit for Regis. Got the brew. And now we'll tend to you. Need to get this right. Words of the curse were, None shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. Eat not using the spoons. We can't use spoons. No, that won't work. You've been looking for a spoon that would feed you, but there's no such spoon. We need to eat without spoons. I think it is working. Holy shit. I leveled up. Quite like I expected. Need to see what happened to the white. Won't I need two ability to points. Given its stench. Yeah. I needed two ability points in order to uh, use the mutation, so I'm going to save up. There. Nice. I think it worked. Easy. Not gonna hurt you. Eat. I, I must eat. Well, she's old as shit now. I'll take you someplace safe. My bed. My bed chamber. <laughs> Age doesn't mean anything for the Witcher. Actually, got rid of a curse. A major curse. So I took her by the hand and led her here. Seemed the only sensible place for her. You did the right thing, sir. She should recover quickly here. I'm deeply pleased, finally, to make your acquaintance, sir. Though I do regret the specific circumstances. In all the commotion, I fear I neglected to introduce myself. I'm Barnabas Basil Folti, and by order of the Duchess, I am to serve as your major domo at Corfo Bianco. Nice to meet you, Barnabas Basil. Love to talk more, but got urgent matters to attend to. Her name's Marlena. She was once the very beautiful and proud heiress to the Trastamara estate. One evening, when she was holding a banquet for friends, a beggar came to her gate seeking alms. He had a bowl and a spoon with him. He sat outside her fence and waited. I've heard of the custom. An ancient rite of hospitality that obliges one to give food and drink to such a guest lest he depart hungry. To neglect the custom is to bring great misfortune down upon oneself. Marlena didn't care a whit for the old customs. <laughs> she drove the man off, saying she'd rather feed the leftovers from her feast to her dogs than to give the beggar anything. The beggar then broke his spoon, cast a curse. Shot all over! She was beautiful, so he said she'd never wish to look at herself in the mirror again, since she adored feasts. 
He swore no one would ever wish to sit and dine with her. And as she even refused him the crumbs from her table, he swore she'd never find a spoon in the world that would sate her hunger. A harsh punishment. I imagine lifting the curse was hardly simple. Tour of the vineyard now? Really? Mind giving me a little tour de Corvo Bianco? Not in the least. Ah. Follow me, please. I think it would be practical to begin on the hill. All right, we're going to take a tour of my new uh, vineyard that I own. Cool. This is pretty cool. I got a thousand experience points. Behold, sir, your estate in all its splendor. This must be the other side quest. Damn, Where it's beautiful. Asked? Indeed. And now, sir, allow me to show you a handful of interesting details. Let's see how much it costs. Mentioned the place could stand to be spruced up. Almost decidedly, sir. The question is where you would like to begin this rejuvenation. The house, the grounds. Let's do the grounds. Got these spacious grounds. Hmm, but maybe it's time to make them more... Uh, useful. Oh, yes. We certainly should. The way I see things, given your trade, sir, you would be wise to put in a grindstone and an armorous table. A good way to start things off, don't you think? Whoa, 5,000! I certainly don't have enough uh, florins for that. Never mind. Hmm. Need to think it over some. I understand, of course. Alright, so I'll just do the, the wheel for now. Okay. I could easily sell all this stuff, right? And raise some funds and maybe improve the estate. I mean, this is cool. I don't feel like doing this right now, though. I mean, I don't want to try to grind money to improve the estate. It's cool that it's a mission, though. Okay, what other missions do we have? Off to the races. Wait a minute. You're not hearing anything. Ha <laughs> ha Just realized. There's no audio coming through. I'm like, wait a minute. This doesn't sound right. Something's going on. Something's going wrong here. Your audio settings are completely off. I start recording. I'm like, this doesn't sound right. Something's off. Here we go. There we go. Now you can actually hear. Well, I missed because of fucking thing. Oh my god. What the hell? Wow, that's like uncontrollable, dude. What? Wow. Uh, Houston, we have a problem here. What the fuck? This is buggy shit. <laughs> oh, the racetrack's up here. I missed the checkpoint. I see. Oh my god. Well, I think I'm going to run out of time. I'm just saying. I actually hit the target. I am out of time. Because it wouldn't work. How weird. So, have you had enough, or do you wish to ride again? Fuck it, I've had enough. 
Had enough. <laughs> Rather not wear my horse down before the real race. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, that actually looks good on him. What the fuck is he doing? Look at his hand. Uh, I, dude, I didn't do anything. This is a complete game bug right here. What the fuck is he doing? What was that? <laughs> He's doing it again. I'm not doing anything. What the fuck, dude? It's a game bug. Yeah. I stop and I pose. How do you like that, ladies? <laughs> uh... Oh. A 30 hour long DLC. 29 hours are bugs involving this pose. Oh, the power pose. <laughs> oh my god. What is happening? Listen, Geralt. I have a tip for you. The timing of your marksmanship duel is such that you shall have the sun in your eyes. Makes no difference to me either way. Nor will it give you any pleasure. Since, as it is, we must both wait. Play me in a round of quit. Oh, no. Should you win, I shall swap with you. To me, a southerner, the sun is no hindrance. Yeah, sure. This will be hilarious. A round of Gwent. This will be hilarious. I'm going to get destroyed. I... What do I even do here? Oh, my God. I don't remember how to play this. How the fuck do you play Gwent? Like, I remember. Great. Choose a card to redraw. One of the low-end cards. This piece of shit. And the same piece of shit. Here you go. The opponent passed. So all I need to do is do two, and I win. Yep. Now I can end the turn. How do I end? Pass. Pass. How do I end the game? Uh, I'm pressing triangle and nothing's happening. Oh, it's the hold triangle. There we go. So I won the round. The string of all close combat cards to one for both players. The string of all range combat cards to one for both players. So this was. Fuck me and him. <laughs> Double fuck. What does this one do? Choose a card for your discard pile and play it instantly. Whoa, the trebuchet. kit. Nice. What the fuck? I didn't even know a 15 card existed. A 15 card? That's insanity! Alright, watch this shit then. Fuck him. Where's the card? This is the card that uh, negates the close combat, right? So I just won't play any more close combat. Watch this. I'm gonna keep going, but I'm not gonna play any more close combat cards. Wow, I'm gonna totally fuck him when I negate the close combat. He played clear weather, but I didn't have a I didn't play a weather card. What is he stupid? I guess so. Is this close combat? Yeah.
Oh my god, well, I'm boned anyway. I'm completely boned. You know what? I'll let him win this. He has two cards. I have a card that lets me draw two cards. So, fuck it, I'll pass. We each have two cards for this next round. What the hell? Biting Frost. Okay. Good job, he fucked himself. He totally fucked himself! Oh my god. Wow, he completely and utterly fucked himself. I, I'm gonna win. I just gotta play these two cards and I win. I won. Wow. I actually won a game of Gwent. I can't believe it. I won a game of Gwent. He's like triple my size, but he's slow as fuck. What the fuck? He just did it. He's doing an advertisement during the fight. He's advertising. <laughs> what the heck? Ballpark. Angus beef. <laughs> that was too good. Ballpark beef ranks. It scared the shit out of me. Now we get to meet her in the tent. Oh, yes. First we, remove the, lady. first we remove the curse, decided. then we remove her panties. I have. Here it is. Our pride and joy, Reginald Daubry. A giant among lovers. A poking, puncturing swordsman, and atop all that, an unrifled titler of harps and other organs. Mm -hmm. So what's wrong with it? How should I put this? It's lost its jewels. Oh no! <laughs> he stole the testicles off a statue. <laughs> no ordinary statue, mind you. Oh my god. It will all work out. It must. Saw marks are straight and clean. Precision castration, I'd call it. <laughs> Precision castration. Ouch. Poor Reginald. <laughs> Oh, baby! Oh, baby! <laughs> oh, sorry to interrupt, I guess. This this is not what it seems. <laughs> Word of honor. I, I, I tripped, rolled, tumbled, then landed where she already lay. Juice, that's not him. I, I swear, this is all an unfortunate coincidence, a series thereof. What? No. <gasps> that's not my husband. You mean, not, not your husband? <laughs> oh. Got you, you rogue. Prepare for a shellacking skeleton. What the love's this? <laughs> Rosalinta, one I could forgive you. But two at one time! <laughs> Wait, oh, yeah! Nothing to do with this. <laughs> Take me for a fool! I'll teach you to fish in another man's pond! Here we go. I got no time for this. Go home. Y yes. That'll be best. I I'm done here. <laughs> Mine fucked. Wow. Lend him the balls for a day. Good old Witcher. Wait one day. Oh my god, listen! What the fuck? 
Ah, well, while they're doing that, I'll run over here. Someone who sells potions, Grace, right? No. I saved the balls. Stroke Reginald's ball sack. I haven't really ran, just just ran through this city, especially during the daytime. So this is kind of nice. The Harbor Gate, beautiful. It kind of reminds me. They say it's supposed to be more like France. It looks like Italy to me. It looks like uh, like countryside of Italy, right? They got like the vineyards, right? They mentioned vineyards, and Italy is known for its vineyards. Ugh, excuse me. It does it remind me of Italy? Good job. Even though everyone has a French accent. Potion of clearance. Here it is. I'm gonna drink this. Consume. All spend ability points will be returned and placed in the available points pool. Alright, yeah, look. Everything's been reset. I know I have 59 points, right? No, 56 points. Now what do I want to do? How do I do mut mutations and stuff? Well, we'll see how this works. This is a weird build, but we'll see how it works. Alright. I got the magic sensibilities build, so... This is gonna be wild. I don't know, this could completely backfire. I don't know how it's gonna work. We have to see how this works. Alright, uh... Find the boot black who appeared in the vision. So we gotta get out of the tomb now. And go find the shoe shiner, basically. Leave him alone. Just who the spit are you? <laughs> I'm an asshole in this stupid ma- <laughs> Look at this outfit! It's great, but it fucking looks like shit. Well, then, no, that's you as well, which is all the same to me. Oh, my God. Oh, can I use it? I forgot a counter. I don't remember how to do this. I forgot a counter. I need some L, uh, L2, but... Oh, there we go. There we go. I promise they're all attacking at once. Go in the ass. What? Lost your nerve? Oh, I can't see all the blues. God, why do they do so much damage? It's fucking stupid. See, I can't combo them because the other one attacks me. Why am I attacking that guy? So this guy, oh my god. Shitty ass targeting. The most dangerous enemies in the game, a bunch of workers in the street duking it out with the Witcher. I have used three healing potions. <laughs> what the fuck? Yes, they're tougher than the biggest beasts that I fought. <laughs> What's the meaning of this? The brawl? Who started it? I'm investigating the beast <laughs> on the Duchess's orders. Ah, yes. We've heard of you. I can't- I don't have the mind control anymore because I respect, so I don't have it anymore. Alright. Let's see if we can't figure something out. Guess what? I don't have 500. Hmm. It's not quite... I don't know... Yeah, fuck you. That's not even worth the spit I'd need to use to discuss it. I don't have enough money to do this. I saw I used all my money. Hmm. It's not quite I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, I have no money. Ah see? I knew we'd clinch it. I don't have it. Just one problem. Don't have the coin. See if I can't get some, then come back. I shall patiently await your return. That's stupid. That's really stupid. <laughs> I have to go find a shop and sell some stuff to get enough money for this dumb kid. Why do they have this in the quest? This is stupid. What a waste of fucking time. Look, and all the stuff's over here. I just respect to not have the mind control. Immediately, I need the mind control. Fuck you. CD Project, CD Project Dicks. Rename them CD Project Dicks. It's like they were watching me respect and then laughed at me and inserted this quest on the fly. People watching are like, oh, this quest, I didn't have to do that quest. Why does Phil have to do that quest? I don't have to, I didn't have to do that with that kid. He just did what I told him. It's almost like CD Project Red was watching. <laughs> In return. 
Once you found the diagrams, you will let me draft a copy. Hmm. All right, where are they? Where do I look for these diagrams? I know of five likely fallen witches, each from a different school of the wolf, griffin, cat, bear, and manticore. Which should I start with? Oh my god, now there's five different things. Let's just do them here. Tell me about my brother, the wolf. His name was Adam. I remember him well. My master liked him, helped him find a safe yet a well paid contract. Who's the major domo? What's this? Use? It's my bookcase, okay. What's this? Hang a painting? Okay. What the hell? I didn't know I could do that. Place a trophy. I have no trophies I can place. I have no trophies I can place because I sold them all. My stash. I can stash stuff in here. Okay. You know what? I can actually play Gwent with this guy, huh? Hold on. Can I play Gwent? Ever play Gwent, BB? Funny you should ask, sir. I was quite adept in my younger years. But that was so long ago. I fear I've limited my interest to collecting now. Managed to assemble quite the set of decks. Huh. Sounds interesting. Mind showing me what you got? Not at all, sir. But only in action. A round or two, perhaps? Oh my god, he wants to play Gwen. May the best man win. Do you wish to play against any particular faction, sir? Surprise me. Not really. You choose. So I have 25, I only have, tw I have 25 in that deck. I don't have enough in any other deck. I have to play my Northern Realms. Because I don't have enough cards in any other deck. Choose a card to redraw. These are the cards I drew, huh? Oh, I got Triss, that's good. Wow, I got two good cards. Two five cards. What did that do? I have no idea what that did. What was that card? Hold on. What is this? I can't see what it is. Place it in your opponent's battlefield and draw two cards from your deck. So it's the same as my card, only he I get no points for it. What a fucking dick. What a dick. Oh, what? Fuck this guy. <laughs> Fuck this asshole. There. It's Kira. Kira who I had sex with. What is this? No, stop summoning more cards. No, stop, don't do that. Oh my god, it doubled their fucking worth. He had a card that doubled the worth of everything in the row. Gee, I wonder if I'm gonna win. What an asshole. You know what, though? If I pass now, okay? We'll still have, each have six cards for the final round. And I've got two really high-ranking cards. I think I'm going to pass. Alright. I think I can win this next round because I think he played his, some of his best cards that round. Oh, I was saying, what a fucking asshole. Probably doubles everything in that row, watch. Oh my god. Oh my god, fuck this game. 
I love how the only reason you ever lose is because everyone has an insane fucking deck. This is so stupid. I have no chance of winning. Fucking waste of my time. Why'd I bother? This time I won. Would no, you, you be didn't. interested in a rematch, sir? No, you didn't. You're just an asshole. Maybe later. <laughs> Got something I need to do right now. As you wish, sir. Yeah, because the asshole plant is fucking using a projectile. Fucker. Where'd he go? Oh, I fucking spawned another one. God damn it. Oh, too dangerous to meditate. Good thing I didn't try to meditate. Oh, well, I'm about to die. I have no health. Even though I use a healing potion, I have no health. I still have no health. I can't heal! You must have poisoned me. I'm done, I'm dead. What the fuck? Why am I poisoned? Why am I toxic? What? 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 Yeah. What? 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 Well, I was about to kill him and I died. Great. So basically they poison you and then you can't heal. And if I knew how to throw a bomb, I probably would have, but I have no idea how to throw a bomb. Due to the insane complexity of the game's combat system when it doesn't need to be complex at all. This is the worst part of the game. <laughs> the fucking combat sucks. It's always been terrible. That was so fucking cheap. So not only is he a boss level character who has freaking branches that come out of the ground and can hit you anywhere. Oh, I'm also going to spawn plants that all fucking snipe you and poison you and make it so you can't heal. Great fight. God, he died from the jump. Oh, <laughs> he died from the jump. Wow. Geralt's most threatening things in this game are fist fights with thugs in the streets and small falls. He could fight giant monsters, wizards, fucking vampires, 
All that's okay, but if he gets into a fist fight or he does a slight fall, he's dead. Uh... See, I, I totally understand why people love this game. I love the story of it and everything, too. There was no way I could have given this game Game of the Year last year. There's no way. It has too many flaws. Too many silly flaws. And, they, you know, these are DLCs. They're not even fixed. This is why. It's 10 out of 10. Are you fucking stupid? The game is not perfect. Far from it. It's a fun game, but it's not fucking great. It's not, like, best game I've ever played. <laughs> I have to- I have to fucking start over. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm back in the cave. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Get the fuck out of here. Stupid boar came out of nowhere and bit my balls. Expecto ludum. Here we go. No, 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 no. You've been warped to the wizarding world of Harry Potter. Ew. Dun 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 dun. Expecto Patronus. Oh God. <laughs> Where are we? You've been warped Regis. to Harry Potter's world at Universal Orlando Resort. Yes. What the shit is this? Like Alice in Wonderland. Land of a thousand fables. <clears throat> Incredible. Oh god, it's that movie that just wasn't it through the looking glass, the sequel to Alice Let's in Wonderland? See where this road takes me. Oh god. A bit of butter, a bit of spice. And you'll make a tasty morsel. Ah, hit That's the fight this old woman! <laughs> the old witch, the old fairy tale witch. <laughs> the wicked witch! I didn't lock on to her, the game did it by itself. How do I hit this bitch? Or I gotta use my freaking arrows. I just threw grape shot by accident. I gotta equip my arrows, I think. Oh, wait a minute, it's not what I do. Hold on. There we go. Here go. Where the fuck does she go? Well, she not hit me with the soup, but I don't know how to break her stupid bubble. Not working. How the hell do I hit this bitch? I hate the targeting in this game. It's so shitty. Uh, I still can't aim fast to hit her. Look. It's too slow. The aiming is terrible and slow. 
Maybe if this were PC, I could fucking hit her. Look. I can't aim fast enough to hit her. Oh, wait. It's auto-aiming. I didn't know that. There we go. I didn't know I could auto-aim. They reused the fucking generic minions from the, that were already in the DLC. This is stupid. Wow, they couldn't do anything original here. The same fucking enemies. The same enemies. And by the way, the plants were the only reason that the boss fight was tough against the, the fucking plant dude. So it's the same thing, just spam the same fucking enemies. Gee, how difficult. <sighs> Terrible. Still alive? Look at this. The broom is still alive. Care for a cigarillo, a bit of tobacco, a dab of fist tech. What the? Remind me. Wait a minute. Push your boots. Sold flints when I was a lass, but no one bought them, so I branched out. Now I deal in snuffs, puffs, all sorts of fun things. What'll you have, sweeties? Magic beans. Do you have any? If it's not the new name of some kicker I already have, dearies, then no. But maybe you'd like some. Hey, where'd you get that ribbon? That's mine. Is that so? Then why was it lying in the bushes? Find us keepers, sweetheart. Punch her in the face. The ribbon. Mind explaining what the fuss is about? There's not much to explain. I got it from Aturius Vigo when I was a child. It was to protect me from evil. It clearly didn't work, given how I ended up. But it means a lot to you. How should I put this? I have so few mementos from my childhood, and the Ripon reminds me of the good old days, when I was someone else. Is out in the open. Who's this guy? Nobody's. Yeah, Is it the Pied Piper? It. It's the Pied Piper. Look. There's no no rats are following him though. The rat. Oh wait, here's the rats. Look. The Pied Piper's face, the rat's fault. Dude, this is cool. <laughs> that is awesome. He's a random dude walking around. I like that. The Pied Piper with his, his rats. Oh, come on. Plan to use me like you did Deadloff? Of course. You know, I need you for a purpose far simpler. Well, don't just stand there and stare. I need a man, Geralt. Oh, no. She's so full of shit. I have no idea what awaits me once we leave this place. Treated as my last wish. She's so full of crap. Let her have her way with you. Yes. Right here in a fucking dirty ass clouds with lightning coming down. They're gonna have sex. Great. Ha! Ah. Oh yes. And she wears the hood. She wears the hood. What the? <laughs> what was that? Like a snake bite. 
What the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, yes. Why are they floating? What the hell is this? Oh, a Spider-Man case. What the hell? <laughs> Looks like they're about to do a, a crazy spinning pile driver in midair. Oh, I almost... <laughs> Skip! Yes! Whee! Uh, there can't be, possibly be any penetration right now. Okay, right there, maybe. <laughs> that was fucking silly as hell. You're the hottest chick with the biggest dick I've ever seen. Holy shit. Oh boy. Can I use vampire oil right now? Maybe I can. I'm pretty sure I have it. Yeah. I used it. I want you to come us. Both of you! supposed to do I don't think there's any way to dodge the bats I had Quinn on and I was dodging and the bats still hit me dude are right, this is the worst it's checkpoint good. ever I have to redo the whole fucking thing look the ribbon. this sucks this checkpoint fucking sucks how can I say I was gonna save and look what happened I was just about to save. And now they're not gonna let me save. Nope. This is bullshit. This is so lame. I want you just like this. You tricked me. Both of you. I didn't plan any of it. Silence.
can't skip this one either. There's no way to skip this fucking bullshit. I can't dodge the bats. Are we running like this? What the hell? This instead, there's a trap on the ground. Look. This shit is weird. This is a weird fight. Look at that, there's traps. He sets traps on the ground. You can't see them because the camera sucks. So you can't dodge them. Dodge the bats. There we go. Nice. What it told me I couldn't do, I wasn't trying to do anything. There we go. Whittling him down, just taking forever. Nice. Wow, I tried to dodge and nothing happened. Great. The problem here is the camera. The only good thing about this fight is the camera, because the camera always sucked in combat. Yep. I tried to hit him twice, and I only got once. Wow, I couldn't move! I'm pretty boned now. Dodge, I tried, dude, whatever. Done. What will happen? Oh my god, I sugar my blood. Damn. What the fuck is this? Uh, uh, uh. What the fuck do I do here? 
Let me guess, I can't save, right? Nope, I'm fucked. This sucks. I have no health. I have no health, so I can't fucking heal. I'm boned. There's nothing I can do, I'm fucked. Right? I can't, uh... See, no, there's, no of these actions are allowed during combat. So I'm completely boned. I can't change any of my inventory during combat. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what a bunch of fucking dicks. And then I have to hit the hearts. Yeah, see? Stamina. No, oh, I'm done. It's over. Zero health, no stamina. What the fuck? What happened? He didn't even hit me. <laughs> he didn't even hit me. He didn't even hit me. I just died for no reason. What the fuck? I died for no reason. He never touched me. I just died. I even had Quinn on and everything. <laughs> well, I guess what I'm going to have to do is the second form, I have to do much better. Don't waste all my potions. I need to have like one to two potions by the time I'm at this final form. Then I could definitely do it. Wow, that was ridiculous bullshit. Uh. Why am I poisoned? WHY AM I TOXIC?! WHAT?! 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 Yeah. WHAT?! 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 Well, I'll go get the top of the Stupid! Oh boy! Yes, okay, see, it's Good. Sorry, I'll Freaking potions, baby. I played Dark Souls, bitch. I played Dark Souls. You can't fuck with me with your inferior combat engine. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Attack the heart. Dodge. 
I'm trying to run and dodge. It doesn't work. Fuck this. It stopped responding to my input. It just let him stand there and wail on me. What the fuck? Wow, I'm gonna die because the game's fucking piece of shit. Come on, man. Look, I can't do anything. I'm dead. This is complete bullshit. Look at this camera. I have to just mash dodge as I dodge around the screen because I can't I can't actually control the game properly. So I have to just mash. It's working too. I can't see. How pathetic is this and it's working? Look! Oh, one down. Here we go. Pro level strats right here. Amazing. Amazing. Now what? Is there another one? I can't see. No, oh, here it is. This is what you're supposed to do during the fight. Mash like an idiot. Wow. Combat of this game fucking sucks. Is that it? That's actually it. Wow. Wow. That was the final fight. Dodge around non-stop. <laughs> I told you, the combat of this game fucking sucks. I mean, it's cool that they tried to do something different with the final boss here, but that was pretty pathetic. Well, we have a resolution. But now it's cool. I got 5,000 florins. That means I could go upgrade my uh, my vineyard and see what it looks like when it's fully upgraded. And that's a, that's a quest to complete, too. What the hell's going on? More massive loading. Thank God I'm almost at the end of this. Oh, I leveled up again. All in all, best part of the whole ceremony... It was short. <laughs>
Cat fight, they all smell. <laughs> all kinds of pheromones shooting into the sky here. A hundred different perfumes concocted into one. Siri! You're good. Come. Don't just stand there. I want a hug. Oh, that's cool. There's three days. I want to do four days. If not, I'll leave and come back. But it might work. Four days of meditation just sitting there on the ground. No food, no water, no pissing, no shitting. Oh, I finished. Every day the same wine. Whoa, look at this place. Looking spiffy. Oh, yes, I like this. Look at that. Very nice. Wow, he did a good job, man. There you go. P.S. You might be wondering why I decided to toss the beauty generator into your home instead of simply handing it to you in person. Well, you must know I did it out of modesty, believe it or not. Take care, and may my gift serve you well. So basically, I just found an infinite source of mutagens. If you fight any enemies whatsoever, it will randomly generate mutagens. Huh. So, you know, like for example now, let's say you did the DLC but you didn't beat the game and you wanted to further go on with the mutation trees like I was doing and you're short on mutagens like I am, now you just fight generic enemies and they're all going to drop mutagens for you to use and do that. So that's pretty cool, although I have no use for it because I beat the whole game. Alright, let's see what he has to say for himself. Along all right, Barnabas Basil. Superbly, sir. A final beautiful view of The Witcher 3. Amazing game! Great plot. I'll be honest, I actually thought the plot of this Blood and Wine DLC was outstanding. I actually liked it, I think, better than the plot of everything else up to now. It has it's all these little, you know, little nuances with the Duchess and her sister and the fairy tale and the vampires and all that. It was really well done. And I had a lot of fun playing the game. You know, I played it from when it launched in May of 2015. Throughout the summer until like early July, I finally beat the main campaign. Then when the DLC came out, I played that. And now this final DLC, I started playing in late May. And I just finished it here in kind of late June. So over a year of The Witcher 3, it was a great game. Great graphics, amazing story, great dialogue choices. If anything, as I said, the one main criticism I ever had about the game was the combat. But i really liked it and i want to say thank you whether you joined me for any of the dlcs for the story for you know if you didn't if you only saw this dlc and you didn't see the other stuff you could easily find that on dsp gaming or by using my website thekingofhate.com there's a playlist search function in a tab there that lets you just find anything that i've ever done on youtube and uh check them out because i really enjoyed playing through these and i hope that you enjoyed watching all right so for cd project red thank you and, uh, you know, on behalf of myself and everyone who made the game, thanks for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed the playthroughs that I did of it. And that's pretty much it. The final send-off for Geralt, because what I'm to understand, at least right now, CD Projekt Red has no plans to make another Witcher game. They've moved on and they're working on other projects. Not to say that they won't come back for it. Maybe they will one day, right? But right now they're really not looking forward or not really looking towards making a new Witcher game. But uh, I had a lot of fun. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know what? I m very much look forward to playing whatever CD Projekt Red is working on next. They are a great game studio. It's undoubtable. I mean, you have to be a real asshole to say that they're not good game devs. They are. And uh, thank you for watching. That's it, everyone. Peace out. Goodbye for The Witcher 3. And uh, I will see you whenever CD Projekt Red makes something else. Peace out. See you then. Hey, was just reminiscing and realized, damn, been ages since we last saw each other. You know me, got a hard time staying put. No. Hmm. Regis says I'm getting old. <laughs> 
Drops in with herbs for Triss sometimes. Strange species I've never seen. They grab Yennefer, lock themselves in her lab, spend all day brewing. Wouldn't dare interrupt them. Not that I'm complaining. Gives me time to help the guys with their contracts. Although... Can't shake the feeling they mainly take jobs nearby. Lambert practically lives here. As I said, find it hard to sit still. Except... Things are good here, you know? I'm good. We play Gwent, drink wine, swipe grapes from Anarietta's vineyards the odd moonlit night. Vesemir would enjoy that especially. Been through hell and high water, you and me. Fact is, you know me better than anyone else does. Actually, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. Thanks for everything. And no, we all miss you, old friend. So, might be my birthday, but I say, here's to you. Now, tell us how you're doing.